independent project 3-4 has a couple things I want you to look out for. Um, so do go through, remember, attention to detail on these because when it does the auto grade, it's going to look for every single small item. So um, steps two and three ask you to insert a clustered column chart, move the chart, and resize the chart. So uh, that one's kind of a basic thing. Let me just open up the start file so I can show you. But this would be something you've done already. So make sure you enable editing. Remember when you click on it, it renames it for you and it puts it in your downloads folder. It wants you to select A4 to G9. So here's A4, I'm gonna go over to G9 and now I have this data selected and insert a clustered column chart. So go to the first group, these are column charts, click and choose the first one, clustered column. Okay, now move it so that it's left upper left corners in A12 and resize it to get it down to H30. So here's H and then go down to 30. So make sure you're paying attention to that small detail. Once you have it there, what I would suggest is that you look at the picture in the book to see how you're different. So a couple things, it wants a new title, uh, so go ahead and do that and then change the font size. I'm not gonna show you how to do that since that's in a few other videos. But it does want you to change the outline of the chart area. So hover your mouse here, this is the chart area. Click, go to format, shape outline, and it wants black text one, that's this guy, but it also wants the point size to be one point. It's small and sneaky the way they've written it, in my opinion, because I didn't notice it the first time, but go down to weight and choose one point. Okay, so that changes the thickness of the line. The other thing it wants you to do, if you take a look at the picture of the sample, I'm gonna go back to the instructions real quick and show you. Notice that in the picture, I only have one, two, three, four bars per month. Go back to mine. I have five, one, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna want me to change something and exclude this little blue one. That is in step eight. It says, Verify that the chart is still selected. It is because the handles are around it. Now look at the data. Notice the data here. It wants you to change the data to go up one row. So we're gonna exclude this design consulting. To do that, just click here when you get that double arrow, move it up. Notice how the data's changed. Notice that the little blue uh, bar is gone. Step nine instructs you to um, include a pie chart. So let's do that. There are a couple things about it that are different from what you've done before. So it wants A4 to A9, then hit the control key and go H4 to H9. So take a look at the data you're selecting, right? All the labels uh, this way as well as across the top and the total values. You want insert and you want a pie chart and it wants a 3D pie. So when you do the 3D pie, um, make sure that your chart is selected and you'll get this move chart location. Go to new sheet and it has this very specific name. It's called revenue breakdown. Make sure you're paying attention to detail because I'm uh, just skipping around to the things that I think are important to show you. So it wants you to add in a title, change the font size, and then it says to apply the woven matte texture fill to patio and furniture slice. So find the patio and furniture slice. That's right here, it's green. So it's gonna be this guy. And I'll uh, notice that when the first time you click in your pie, the handles go all the way around the chart. Click again just to get one slice. So here's my handle, here's my handle, and here's my handle just around the pie, or I'm sorry, the patio and furniture. Now that I have patio and furniture, double click and it brings up this format data point. Um, it also has this fill bucket. So click on fill, click again on fill, and it wants texture fill. And here is the actual texture, click on this. And if you hover your mouse over each of these, it'll bring up the different types. It wants woven mat. So go until you find woven mat, which is this one, click, and you've um, changed the, the whole slice. The next thing is data labels. Data labels is the data that appears in each slice. 
So in order to add that information, make sure you click so that you've selected the whole pie again. Look at your handles and make sure you have handles around the whole pie. Now click on this, the chart elements, and add in data labels. Okay, so we've added the data labels. Click on this arrow and it asks you where you want the data labels, center, inside, end, etc. The book indicates center, so choose center. And now it wants you to change the formatting of the number to be accounting format, zero decimal places, 14 point font, and bold. In order to do that, get rid of this guy, get rid of this guy, and click on the data labels. Notice that it highlights all of them at the same time. Okay, I'm just gonna highlight them one more time. Mine came undone. But if you look over here on the right-hand side, you should have label options and then this selected and you'll get this label options open. So if you scroll down, and you click on number, you are able to change the category to accounting, zero decimal places. So do that and then change the font. So go to the home tab, make it bold and change it to 14 point. So that should get you through most of the trickier stuff in this project. If you have any issues or questions, remember that you have two submissions that you can, um, two attempts for your submissions. So give that a try.